life, we need energy to, you know, run around and do the daily activities. Where do we get energy? That's from glucose and other uh, things that we eat. So we have a normal glucose level in our body. But in some people, we see that the normal level is not there. They have a higher level of glucose in their blood and their body. So that condition we call yes, diabetes. And diabetes, when we talk about diabetes, we talk of several varieties like type 1 diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes. What are they? So the sugar level in our body is maintained or regulated by a hormone called insulin. So if somebody does not have enough insulin, then we call it type 1, which usually we see in young adults, children, so that they don't have enough insulin produced in their body. But commonly what we see is a separate entity, type 2, where they, the people have enough insulin, but they're not really functioning. They're not very effective in their body. Why is that? We see this among like adult population, elderly population, and they are obese, sedentary, and uh, not eating very healthy, I must say. So when they have excess body weight or fat in their body, the insulin does not work properly. So that makes them prone for diabetes and that we call type 2. So we talked about type 1, type 2 and there's another entity you might have come across some people, uh, some ladies during their pregnancy, they become pregnant. So they, become, they get diabetes and then uh, once the pregnancy is over, their diabetes is gone. So we call that gestational diabetes. So they are the main three varieties of diabetes. Yeah, so diabetes is a condition which can be controlled very well and if controlled well would not lead to any major problems. Having said that, if not controlled well, the patient would face a lot of complications. So if I talk about the complications, diabetes is the main cause of blindness um, in world, like if I take the world scenario worldwide, as well as in, especially in our country, Sri Lanka, and also um, the majority of the developing countries as well, as well as developed countries, di diabetes is one of the major causes for kidney damage. So. Diabetes can cause heart attacks, uh, can lead to strokes, blindness, kidney failures, and numbness, tingling of the hands and feet. So as you know, all these conditions can lead to significant mortality or a reduction in the lifespan as well as morbidity. That is not having a quality life if they have. So these problems can occur if... Uh, and diabetes is not controlled and that's why we should be worried and it's so prevalent in the world so one must be careful not to get these complications if that person has diabetes or to prevent that prevent getting diabetes if that person is prone for diabetes get, prone to get that we have to identify who are at risk because those category of people need to take extra um, uh, precautions or to be need to be extra careful to prevent diabetes. So if you are having overweight or obesity, or if you are living a sedentary life, or if you are not taking eating healthy, in the background of a fa familial predisposition that is having a relative, close relative having diabetes, uh, then you are at high risk. Same way, if a lady is having a past history of diabetes during the pregnancy, that person is also at high risk of getting diabetes. In this uh, background, one has to be very careful to, pre and to take precautions to prevent diabetes. So what can we do? I explained earlier as well the risk factors. So you have to minimize the risk factors. So one needs to take extra precautions uh, when uh, selecting their meal. 
so they have to eat a healthy meal which comprises of lot of vegetables and fruits and little uh, amount of carbs carbohydrate and to cut down your sugar amount and also to cut down the fast foods so um, eating a healthy diet is very important same time it's so important to get adequate exercises so what we recommend is at least 30 minutes a day for at least 5 days a week uh, aerobic exercise is good enough and if you are overweight you may extend the time duration to reduce your weight as well and maintain a healthy weight for your uh, height and uh, that will make you healthier as well as prevent diabetes as much as possible and also it is uh, important to check yourself for uh, diabetes periodically at least if you are a high risk in the high risk category so that we can detect diabetes early enough to make to control it and prevent complications when we see patients we get a lot of um, we get to hear a lot of things uh, that the patients think that i think that's because we, they don't get enough information so one thing that we hear is about diabetic oral tablet that's specially metformin uh, we have a tablet called metformin which we use as a first line to treat diabetes so uh, some people think that taking metformin long term or other uh, tablets long term for diabetes would harm their kidneys and uh, after some time they stop taking tablets uh, because of fear of the, um, uh, kidney disease so i must say that after like after doing long term trials extensive trials we have found that metformin is actually not harmful for the kidneys otherwise we won't be giving it so it's the disease if your disease is not controlled for a long time that can lead to kidney disease not metformin so it's important to take your medications regularly as prescribed by your doctor and also sometimes uh, when we give medications pm pm like uh, your sugar levels come to will become normal and that does not mean that you need, you need not to have in, uh, insulin or the tablets you need to continue your tablets and insulin maybe you can contact your doctor and adjust the doses but uh, it is always advisable a medical person doing the dose adjustment rather than you yourself doing it and also people uh, sometimes are scared of insulin and they think like if they are being prescribed uh, with insulin that's the end cause of the disease or um, you know uh, it's uh, now there's no escape from insulin something like that so you should not be worried of insulin insulin is just another hormone which is produced in your body and since your body is not producing it enough that's why we give insulin as clinically indicated so it's safe and it's easy to inject so you should not be worried and that is not the end of the disease it is just given to control your disease